inhabited by humans since prehistory, this underground structure served as a hospital and bunker in World War II. And those were not the only uses that were given to this place, since in the Middle Ages there is evidence that it was used as a prison. The history of this labyrinth that extends for 1,200 meters under the Buddha castle is closely linked to one of the representative elements of the city, the thermal waters. And it was these were the ones that caused this natural wonder that we can witness with all its grottoes extending underground. Very deep, under the imposing stone walls of a 13th century palace, the enigmatic labyrinth is hidden with its zigzagging paths and dark halls. Here, the skeletons of the dead uncover violent acts. The caves were open to the public for many years, however they were suddenly closed in 2011, the police closed their doors for unknown reasons. It is still a mystery that caused that hasty closure. The complex of underground caves and passageways was forged into solid rock by torrential hot springs long before prehistoric man used it as a hunting refuge more than half a million years ago. It is said that archaeological evidence of stone tools from 350,000 years ago was found in the caves. The bedrooms and the passages reach more than 1200 meters and are about 16 meters below the old castle district, which is now Budapest, the largest Hungarian city. The caves are so unique and historical that they were declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1987, as a spectacular urban landscape. The caves have witnessed part of the history of humanity and the culture of Budapest since prehistory, although they have undergone many changes over time. This was the place where the ancient Roman city of Akincom was located, located right between Buda, on the right bank of the Danube River, and Pest, on the left bank. Pest was an important economic center, but was devastated by the Mongol invasion of 1241. It was rebuilt and in the following years the formidable Buda castle was built by King Bela IV on the old chambers. The first residents used the caves to store food and stock up on water. The deep tunnels served as a refuge in times of war and fire, they were also used by inhabitants of Buddha Castle for hundreds of years, but over time they were forgotten. The sinuous caves were rediscovered and researched in 1930, as a result of urban development work. Bones and objects and remains of all kinds were discovered, so they were opened to the public as a place of interest. The basements were opened and uncovered a labyrinth-like path. It is easy to believe the dark legends of the underground labyrinth, as its damp and dimly lit walls and the bones of the dead evoke times of great violence. There are remains of what became an old Turkish harem right at the entrance to the caves and it is said that several female skeletons, dating from the time of the Ottoman occupation, were found in the depths of the tunnels. Also, the labyrinth was used as a prison and torture chamber and one of the most horrifying stories has to do, precisely, with the famous Vlad Teeps, Vlad the Impaler, who was later known as Dracula. It is said that Vlad Teeps, Prince of Wallachia, was betrayed by his ally, the Hungarian King Matthias. Well, local legend says that around the year 1462, Vlad was imprisoned and left to rot in the dark bowels of the earth, under Buddha Castle. It is unknown how many years he languished there, but it is suspected that he was brutally tortured because when he was released, he had become the infamous man who went down in history for his atrocious acts of torture, murder, and cruelty as well as for his specialty, impaling thousands of prisoners. The legend also tells that Vlad Teeps was buried in the cold stone floor of the caves and that there is a tomb marking the specific place. Other legends tell that the Turks buried their treasures in the labyrinth and that tax collectors of the Middle Ages hid their wealth in the vicinity of the palace and in the tunnels and wells, but nothing of this could be confirmed. Strange figures, ancient art, symbols, wells, fountains, and stone humanoids greet visitors to the mysterious labyrinth evoking the ancient history of the caves. Also, there is no lack of torture elements or the iron bars of what was once a prison. The most imposing figure of all is that of the two-faced shaman. In addition spooky and pale wax statuettes, dressed in period, 
told stories of the most recent history of the area as well as the splendid royalty and riches found in the palace located above them. In total five zigzag labyrinths that covered ten different chambers. The lucky travelers who managed to pass through the black tunnels, with their dim lights, the haze, and the chilling music could come across a hidden camera, and perhaps the most enigmatic, where the wine is poured freely by a fountain covered with a vine. The reason why wine flows indefinitely and the explanation of the existence of the source is still a mystery. At present these sources of wine are attributed to King Matthias Curvino, who continued the construction of the huge royal palace. The legends narrate that Beatrice, his wife, poisoned him precisely with wine. Visitors were often encouraged to try the wine, if they dared to. The labyrinth became known as a stupendous and enigmatic wonder that attracted a constant flow of visitors, eager to explore the history and ancient cultures of Budapest. However, on July 29, 2011, the visitors and labyrinth personnel were shocked when, as they say, the police assaulted the caves and forcibly removed all their occupants. At that time, people believed that it was a terrorist attack or some kind of emergency. All those present were told to collect their belongings and evacuate the site and, in doing so, they would be under permanent surveillance. As soon as people left the place, the doors were sealed. There was no emergency, nor was there any explanation for such a sudden evacuation, carried out in a hurry. During the following days, the labyrinth guards pressed for answers from officials, but were not allowed to return to the caves. It is said that the staff was replaced and that, after a while, the labyrinth was again available to receive visitors. Speculation about what really happened on July 29 and what caused the police to suddenly enter the caves and block the entrance, still continues.